What's going on guys? Caleb here from Speed Industry. Today I'm gonna to be working on the 86 speed GR86 and we're gonna be showing you guys the second gen GR86 eight six speed brand hood shocks. So we've been getting, we have been getting a lot more questions on these lately. Uh, people are just curious what the differences are and uh, how to actually install them properly. So we're gonna give you guys a little bit more in-depth guide on how these actually work. As you saw at the beginning of the video, we had the other side already done for you. And something interesting to note is that the hood shocks will hold the hood up with only one installed. There is no hood shock on this side. There's no uh, factory hood brace up. It's just the one shock on that side holding it up. Moving into the first part of the install, you're gonna get two brackets. Uh, you're gonna get a slightly smaller bracket. This one here, it's gonna have the little ball joint on the end, and then you're gonna get a longer bracket. The longer bracket is the one that goes here on the top, and the shorter one is the one that's gonna go right back here on the bottom. The second gen hood shocks are substantially shorter than the first gen ones, so a lot of you might be inclined to like want to mount it here like this. There's a nice little bolt right here. It looks like that's where it's supposed to go. Bracket mates up nicely, and you're going to want to mount it like this. If you do that, the hood's not going to be able to close. It's not the right angle since this one is so much shorter. So this bottom bracket is actually going to go right back here on top of the OEM hood latch, or I guess hood bracket. And that is gonna give you the right angle to actually close the hood properly. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bracket in place. I'll connect it to the bottom here and then we'll move to the top. So we went ahead and got that uh, bottom bracket in. Like I said, it just mounts back here where the uh, stock hood, I guess, brace is. Um, it is a bit of a tight fit, so I do recommend using just like a little quarter inch ratchet, something that gives you accessibility here so you're not nicking the edge of this fender. But then we're gonna go onto the top. The top is even more simple. I'm just gonna undo this top bolt. Bracket sits right on top of it, flush up against here, and then you just replace that bolt. Before we go ahead and snug anything down all the way, we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that the shock actually fits properly. Just these. Go ahead and, and for these, you just push them on, snap them in, tighten this down, and then we'll rotate this, orient it properly, push the hood up, and there you go. And before we go, uh, two quick things. These are definitely worth it. Two added benefits are when you're opening up your hood, you gain a lot more hood travel so you can open up the hood more. And if you live in a windy area like we do, you're at a car show, wind's blowing, you don't have to worry about your hood getting blown off, blown back. It'll help keep it nice and stable. You don't have to worry about it falling off. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about the our 86 speed GR86, go ahead and follow us on the other channel. Check it out and we'll see you guys in the next video.